Now, why are we here and what are we attempting to do? Well, we all have one common goal, and that common goal is <clears throat> to provide security for our countries. Uh, we know that the threat of terrorism is real, and the best, <clears throat> the best way to fight terrorism is through intelligence. I am the, one of the top Democrat in the House of Representatives on the Intelligence Committee. In my opinion, <clears throat> intelligence is clearly uh, the, the best defense against terrorism. And what is intelligence? Intelligence is collecting information, working with our allies like we have out here, and then analyzing that information and getting it out to the right people so that we know uh, what we can do to stop this threat of terrorism. Now, this is a pivotal <clears throat> time, we know, for the Middle East. There's a lot that has happened. We know the history. We, the Arab Spring has ushered in new governments in Egypt and Libya. Uh, Syria's civil conflict, as we know, has transformed into a full civil war. And Iran uh, is flexing its muscles and trying to de derail the countries in the regions. Uh, the Obama administration recently announced a strategic pivot to Asia. And Senator McCain talked about that, and so did Secretary Burns. And let, let us make it clear, as Americans, we are not leaving the Middle East. We are committed to continue our relationship uh, to, attempt to fight a terrorism. That's a common ground that we have, and we're going to continue to do that. Now, uh, we also have a history of long-term strategic relationships with many countries here. Uh, Bahrain, uh, we are glad that you're, you're hosting this conference, and we know there's some issues that you have to deal with, but we're going to work with you and gain intelligence to make sure we uh, have terrorists not take advantage of a situation, and that situation which is being helped by a country like Iran, who is, who is attempting to, to undermine your country. And I do want to say this about the Crown Prince. That was an excellent speech last night, because he talked about how he was going to help govern his country, to reach out to the other side, to communicate, to listen. Uh, because again, we all want the same things for our country, for our families, and our communities. Now, we, uh, we also know that we have some issues in Egypt, no question. Uh, there has been a change in, in, the, uh, in the governance of, of Egypt. Uh, we, uh, uh, the <clears throat> Morsi, President Morsi, uh, just really was involved in, in, in a very historic event when he attempted to resolve the issue between Israel and, and Hamas. And yet a couple days later, he made a decision to be a little, to, ch to change the way the country was governed, and, and we have issues there now. And we have to continue, not only our government, but your governments, to work and to help Egypt bring stability, because if we don't, there will be an undermining of individuals throughout uh, the terrorist world who will try to take advantage of a situation and bring unrest to Egypt, which brings unrest to the entire uh, region. We also uh, are concerned about the issue involving Syria, a very serious situation. Uh, the leadership there, uh, killing his own people, is threatening to use chemical weapons. Uh, that could be a very serious situation. To use chemical weapons could mean 100,000 people immediately die and over a million being affected. We know that there are groups, terrorist groups, Al-Qaeda, trying to infiltrate uh, these opposition groups in Syria, which will hurt the situation when Assad leaves that, his position. Um, the, there's a group called the Nasra Front, a group affiliated with the terrorist network. These groups are there, and we have to work and get the intelligence to, to stop that. And then you have Iran. And we have to deal with Iran. We, Iran is getting bolder and more belligerent as these changes affect the region. There are indications uh, um, they are trying to get nuclear capability. We have to make sure we stop that. It will bring unrest to the region. And add to that, Iran is exporting terrorism and using Hezbollah as, as its proxy. You know, when there's a situation in, these, in our different countries, when there is unrest, the terrorist groups will attempt to take advantage. And we have to stop that. Now, to top of these threats, the United States, again, must work together. We must listen. We must work with our different intelligence agencies and our governments, and we're going to attempt to do that. Now, I'm going to stop now, but there's one issue I do want to address that I think is very important. It's a, it's a major threat to the world, and that's the issue of cyber attacks. One of the, what, the two things that I'm most concerned about when I go to bed at night are weapons of mass destruction and cyber attacks. As we speak now, many countries are being attacked and don't even know it. Uh, cyber attacks are, are taking information uh, from our, our businesses, whatever business we have, exporting um, our, our goods and getting information. But more importantly, cyber attacks could be destructive attacks, attacks on your, your electrical systems, attacking your banks, getting information. 
Um, and this is a very serious issue. If, in fact, we have serious wars, cyber attacks could, could be the weapon and of, of the future, and, and it is right now. So we need to work together to educate, and from a world point of view, establish standards on how we're going to deal with the Internet and to make sure that we work together to stop these cyber attacks, stealing information, and which, and which could also lead to destructive um, attacks, as I just talked about. So looking forward to your questions. Uh, it's great to be here coming together. A lot of life should be about relationships and trust, and we need to, to learn to, to work together, and if we do, we will be better for our countries. Thank you.